You said you've never been here before, right? No, I actually haven't. But I've always wanted to come, and I've heard a lot about the new chef. Um, thanks for taking me. Well, thank Evan for setting us up, I guess. You're right. Thanks, Evan, for the restaurant and for introducing me to Todd. Evan, wherever you are, I owe you one, buddy. <laughs> How about we order some apps? Yeah, sure. Um, actually, why don't you pick since you've been here before? I'm actually like really, really hungry. I haven't had anything since like a small lunch yesterday. Um, do you want like a tissue or something? Oh, no, 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 I'm fine, I'm fine. Um, wait, but what, what are you doing? I'm debating between the, uh, truffle potato wedges and the impossible meatball skewers. Do you want me to pick? Ew, no, I, I don't want you to pick. Your nose. Can you please stop picking your nose? Ugh. Do you like impossible meat? It's plant-based. No, who told you that it's okay for you to pick your nose at a dinner table? Do you never pick your nose? Maybe in private, like with a tissue, but certainly not at a dinner table and certainly not on a first date. Well, there is a first time for everything. So if you feel any blockages in your nose at any point, feel free to get that sucker out of there. There's some waters. And would you like a little more time to look at the menu? Yes, please. Thank you. You know, if Evan had told me about your little public nose picking situation, I don't think we'd be sitting here right now. Well, in Evan's defense, he didn't know. I've only been doing this for three months and I haven't hung out with Evan in well over six. Do you always pick your nose in public? No, oh, no, 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 no. Only when I have a boogie. And sometimes that is at my home in private. Are you in third grade? Boogie? I'm sorry, I don't know the technical term for boogie. Well, let's say booger. And no, I'm not in third grade. Third graders eat their boogers. I don't do that. Well, that's a relief, I guess. Um, is your nose um <clears throat> clear now? Yes, thank you. Right. <laughs> Look, Amanda, I get it. I spent a lifetime being disgusted by people picking their noses. It was usually while they were in their cars, waiting at red lights, stop signs. I thought, what was it about being in cars that makes people want to pick their noses? Is it just out of boredom? And then I realized they just don't think anyone is watching. And some people don't care if a stranger sees them because it's accepted that people pick their noses in cars. Simple as that. Okay, but... This is a restaurant like people are trying to eat. I've had many an appetite ruined by public nose pickers. I found it so disgusting to catch someone in the act, Ugh, digging their grimy fingers in their nostrils. But me, hypocrite that I was, picked my nose in my car all the time. Like, all the time. So I started thinking about how liberating it would be to start picking my nose outside of my car, wherever I happened to be, regardless of who saw me. I mean, why be ashamed if someone sees you perform this act of self-care? If everyone does it and it's not hurting anyone, should it really be considered disgusting by all of society? Oh, no. No, 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 it's okay. And so I decided to normalize public nose picking by doing it myself whenever and wherever the need presented itself without hesitation, without shame. Okay, I, I hear you, but like no one does that. Society changes, it progresses. I'm a part of society. Someone has to be the first one. Look at this, women never wore pants in public either, until Elizabeth Smith Miller. She's a feminist in the 1850s, the first one. She's the first one who wore pants. Now, look at you, a woman wearing pants. And they look really nice on you, Amanda. Okay, um, yeah, you have a point. What is the shame in clearing your filter in public? In fact, um, my filter could use a clearing right now. Go for it, Amanda. Go for the gold. You guys decided on appetizers or drinks? 
Yes, I will take the truffle potato wedges and the impossible meatball skewers, and I'll have a Sprite. Amanda, what would you? Yeah, could I have a sparkling water, please? Thank you. One sparkling water. 